Hi there. How are you today? I wanted to join you just to talk a little bit about a question that used to plague me and that actually stopped me from writing my screenplay at all for years. Like I wanted to write a screenplay, but I didn't do it. I just thought about it. And then when I finally started to write it, it was the question that really stopped me from finishing it in any expedient manner. It actually took me three years to write my first screenplay. And the question that really bugged me, the question, the voice that would come into my head with a horrible regularity was this. It was just basically this question that would go, who am I to do this, right? And I don't know if you've ever experienced this. I had this voice running in my head. It was basically like, who am I to write a screenplay? Like, you know, and this voice kind of had like all the good arguments, right? As the devil always does, you know? So the arguments that this voice would come up with for me were things like, you know, Diane, you've never done this before. You're not talented. You don't know enough about the craft you haven't been to school for this you haven't studied this you're not good enough right you know then also the voice would say things to me like you know even if you did write it like how would you ever sell it or how would that ever happen or how would it get made into a movie you don't know anyone in the film industry you're living in Barcelona you're a yoga teacher for heaven's sakes right you can't write a screenplay and sell it you're crazy and then the voice would finish off by saying, so get real, Diane, stop wasting your time. This is a stupid hobby at best. And what a silly hobby. You'd be better knitting sweaters. At least you'd have something to show for it, right? Does any of this sound familiar? Have you ever heard that voice? I'm betting that you have, because I think every artist does. I think everyone hears it, you know? Now, if you look at a successful screenwriter, somebody who is, you know, they're doing it, right? They probably are not hearing that voice so much, right? They are confident about their talents, probably, and they know, they trust that they'll get their work out there. They're treating also what they're doing as a job and not a hobby, right? They're not worried about, oh, this is just some hobby. They're like, no, this is a job and I can show up and I can show up with good faith and I know that I'm talented enough and I'll make everything happen. So <clears throat> you might think, of course, well, obviously, in order to be like that, you know, if you have, say, person A who's like full of all the doubt, full of all the fear, is kind of blocked in what they're doing, isn't really showing up the way they should, isn't getting things finished, maybe not even getting things started, you know, um, is making lots of excuses for things if they are doing stuff, all that stuff. So that's person A. And then person B is somebody who's you know, just doing it, right? And is confident and creates time for it and shows up and does the work and knows that they're good enough and knows they're talented enough and knows that there will be a way to get it out. And if you go, you know, you might be thinking, well, obviously to become that second person, like what you have to do is get the success, right? That obviously in order to have that transformation from A to B, you're going to have to sell a screenplay, right? And until then, you're just going to have to battle that voice. That might be what you're thinking. And I would think that's a fairly logical thing to think. But I'm going to put it to you today that in order to become a successful screenwriter, in order to become the second person, you have to become it now. And that will sound crazy because you're like, well, but how can I do it, right? But in order to sell, to write a good screenplay, in order to sell the screenplay, you have to become the person that's already doing that, that already does that, that already is that. You don't wait until you've done it to have that confidence, to have that belief, to show up as if everything is possible for you. You have to show up like that beforehand and that's how you will have the success. That is how you will lose the doubt and the fear. That is how you will write a great screenplay and that is how you will sell it. Does this make sense or does it sound totally crazy? <laughs> you know, it might sound a little bit crazy, but I'm just going to put it to you. You are good enough. Of course you are good enough to do this, right? And, you know, you don't have any reason to doubt that. I am telling you right now, if you have it in your heart, if you feel the calling in your heart to write a screenplay, it is there for a reason. There are literally billions of people on this planet who have no desire to write a screenplay, <laughs> okay? They just, like, it's just not one of the things. It's sort of like that thing, like, you know, there's people who want to climb Mount Everest. There's people who want to cycle across France. There's people who want to, you know, there's all kinds of things. And like most of these people, they don't want to write screenplays. They're like, screenplay, who cares, right? If you want to do it, it's because it's part of your soul's purpose. It's part of like who you are and who you're meant to be in this world. And let me tell you this, your heart doesn't mess around. If it's in your heart, it's there for a reason and you can do it. You are good enough.
Okay. So I'm going to say again, if you want to have the success, what you have to do is start behaving already like the successful screenwriter. You have to treat it like a, like, jo- like a job. You have to invest in yourself, right? And that's invest your time, right? Invest your time to sit down and do the writing and do the work. You have to perhaps invest in some books, some courses, things that will help you achieve your goals because you know that your success is inevitable. You know that this is your calling and if you fulfill it, it will come back to you 10 times. Like anything you invest now will come back to you 10 times, you know? And so I just like want to say to you today, The question really isn't, who are you to be a screenwriter? Who are you to write a screenplay? The question really is, who are you not to if it's your calling? Right? Who are you not to? I remember last year I watched that um, great movie, Bohemian Rhapsody, with my seven-year-old son. I know. (laughs) It was a little risky. But uh, he loved it. He loved it. And the two of us were sitting there and, you know, Freddie Mercury watching him, how he is like before he becomes a rock star. I mean, when he has no business acting like a rock star, when he is like working at an airport, you know, throwing luggage around and he's the son of immigrants and he's got these funny teeth and he kind of looks weird and all the things. But you know what's amazing? Even then, he's acting like a rock star. Like he's he's already owning it. He's already like, he's already playing to the crowd of hundreds of thousands. He's not waiting until he gets the validation to be that person, Right. The moment that my seven-year-old son loved the most was when he went, I'm Freddie fucking Mercury. And my seven-year-old just went, yes, (laughs) right? So I invite you today, take your first name, insert that word into the middle. That's who you are. If you want to write screenplays, you can do it. And there is nothing to stop you. And when you hear that voice coming into your head, that voice that's saying, but who are you to do this? And you're just wasting your time and you'll never amount to anything and all that. Hear them and say, Okay, I hear you, but you're wrong. This is not true. This is not ultimately true. What is ultimately true is that I get to choose who I am. I get to choose who, I, who I'm being. I get to choose how my future unfolds. And if you want to be the screenwriter, there's nothing to stop you. Absolutely nothing. Just start being that person now. Don't wait. All right, you guys, I hope this is helpful. Reach out to me. Let me know what you think. I am rooting for you all the way. I want to see you write your amazing screenplays and succeed at the highest level. I am Diane Bell. I hope you will say hello to me on Instagram or something and tell me what you think of this. And as I say, show up. There's nothing to stop you achieving your dreams. Bye.